What's going on, everybody? Doc, Average Gamer Guys, back yet again, some more Escape from Tarkov action, and jumping into another iteration of our snowballing series, this time, Bolt Action Sniper. So I'm really excited about this. We're going to do our raids. We're going to see how it goes. I'm going to show you my kit really quick here. We'll load in, and uh, I got some quick plugs to do. So Bolt Action Snipers, I wanted to break this out, and I want to be specific to that um, because I'm doing one small rules adjustment. I'm going to allow one additional mag of ammo. Uh, I think that's just going to make for a little bit more of a fun raid. In addition, 10 rounds, it is what it is, but I feel like an additional 10 rounds is probably just a good thing. Um, caveat to that, you have to keep it in your pockets. That's why if you die, you lose it. I think that's a fair way to do it, um, but we're going to allow that. I'm going to run, I'm going to run two mags. Uh, I'm using a DVL. Choose your poison here. Bolt action sniper is really important. If you're going to follow along and play along in the challenge and as typical we've got our melee weapon we've got our single key and we've got three raids to come so i'm going to be going woods first and uh we'll see how we do quick plug as we load in uh like comment subscribe if you're new to the channel thank you for stopping in hopefully you enjoy the series we've got a couple of really fun episodes prior to this we've got more coming as we continue to work through and, and change up and do the different weapons uh, so we got some good weapon classes coming. I'm saving the best for last, I think. Uh, but I'm, I'm looking forward to this one. I think Bolt Action Sniper should be pretty fun. Uh, in addition to that, we stream on Twitch Fridays and Saturdays, 8.30 Eastern Standard Time. If you want to join us over there, that link is in the description, as well as our Twitter and our Discord. Discord is the best place. We do stream randomly throughout the week. And when we do that, we always post when we're going live in Discord. So we appreciate you joining that community. Uh, with all that being said, let's jump in. Let's get our raids going. See how we do. See you in the raid. All right, and what feels like traditional recording fashion, we brought the rain, so it's coming right now. And I apologize. All right, DVL. DVL was my weapon of choice here. I'm going to move forward quick, fast, and in a hurry, see if we can't find somebody going to the camp. Um, I'm starting Woods. This is kind of a nice... Woods has been pretty good to us in this uh, little series we've got here, so see if it uh, see if it also plays ball. And we actually have a pretty good spawn. I like this spawn. I think we can do some stuff from here. The, the rain actually probably helps us more than hurts us. We don't have ears. Age up to 100, just in case. Um, if you're new to the series, if this is the first one you're stopping in, little snowball challenge. We pick a weapon class. You can put anything you want on the weapon, and you get it for what is a traditional snowball challenge. You can use it once, as long as you don't die, whatever you find in the raid. The goal after three raids, make as much money as you can. The only exception is you can't go to labs unless you find a labs key card in raid. So you can pick any other map that you want. Choose your poison. You get one key, one melee weapon in addition to any weapon class that we do. That's the rules. Container whatever you can. Make as much money as possible. Everything you sell is to the traders. That way there's some parity. Nobody's cheating the system. I'd say sell to whatever trader you can. And then you can convert dollars and euros to cash money as well. That's the basic gist. You can post raid heal when you die. That is also allowed. Otherwise, this, this would be no fun. I'm trying to play this smart. I'd be very surprised if nobody spawned over in that corner. This is not the weapon to get aggressive with.
but this is a good spot for us to do some stuff. We pick up some heals. That way we've got some options. Drive a couple of hits. Can't get anything else worthwhile here. And I want to kind of prioritize heals. Heals are pretty important. English tea sells pretty good. Take it for now. Can't get some other med supplies. Bass is really good. CMS. Check that tech crate as well. I don't know that any of that sells much better than what we've currently got. That might be Sturman. Although we gotta get over there. Sturmy baby. It'd be big if it was. Ooh. Nice. See if we can't get... Yeah, that's him for sure. Yelling Sturman and the guards would be huge. Humongous. So I don't see I would say I would recognize the normal sniper scab. He may have been hiding, but I feel like that was Sherman. We're gonna get one pop by him. I don't have a damn clue where he was. What's weird is, so Sturman is down there by the cabins. Shush. 
He's down there by the cabins. Shooting at somebody else. Oh, I dropped that guard. I'd actually like to maybe get over to Dickhead. <laughs> what do we do here? What do we do? What do we do? What do, we do? So there's some really potentially good gear on that guard. Dermy is obviously still up. They are shooting at someone else. Now what's interesting is actually that... Guard hadn't moved. I'm wondering if Sturman's still in place. I think the guards at the base, or I think Sherman's at the base. Where's the other guard is the question. Yeah, that guy's definitely dead. Um, as if I get spotted, I'm a sitting frickin' duck. Gosh, I, I feel like he's, like, right here.
Like, I so badly want to run in to try to grab that guard here. Holy fuck. Oh. Shit. Come on, come on, come on. He's shooting me through the wall! He's shooting me through the fucking wall! Oh, what the fuck? What is that? That's straight up cheating. Straight up, that's cheating. That's some bullshit. No! What? Stop! Stop it! I feel like he's gonna be able to hit me. It's fucking cheating. That's him back there. Pray to God he can't hit me. First time I go in here to get ammo. Where the fuck is he? He's gonna kill me.
super duper he's gonna kill me. in an interesting little spot here. He can just, he can just kill me so quickly. This is the shitty part. This is the shitty part about going over here. Dead guys. Fuck is he? Okay, where is he that he can see me? There he is. Fuck you. Dude, stop. Jesus.
now where did he go? What if he killed himself with a grenade? I didn't see those grenades really go anywhere. Just slow creep in front of that. Man, that was a player. Player scav. Ah, dang it. Yeah, you are turtling up, aren't you, bud? Nice shot on this guy. Took these guys out. What did this guy kill me? Sixty-one. He had an M1A or SR silenced or something like that. Just uh, couldn't get the shots on. Well. A, a exciting first raid, but uh, now we're at square zero. Um, we did pick up some things. We picked up some things that if we could get into another raid and scavenge up a couple of things, we've been in an okay spot. So um, get there, show off what we got. We got a flash drive. We got some things, a couple of things worth a little bit of money. We get a CMS, get honestly some good heal. But used to this. We can sell that. We got kind of a list, a little list of items to sell. But we're gonna melee up. We'll grab our key. Reserve is where we're going, and uh, see if we can't get some stuff done. That kind of sucks. That was a really good raid. I got a little greedy to try to kill Sturman. Um, obviously, if we could have killed him, we could have obviously probably gotten Lab's key card. There's a semi decent chance of that. Um, we definitely would have been able to pick up another SVD. So we would have had a couple of really solid guns, plus a good backpack that could have stored two SVDs. So that's really what I was trying to go for there. Uh, you know, the serve kit and that kind of stuff. Basically what we had in our backpack wasn't really useful for us. We would have ditched the backpack straight up. We had a good rig, decent set of armor. We could have sold some stuff and actually repaired. But more importantly, again, we kill Sturmy, we get his key, Get the SVD. There was another SVD there set, ready to go, so we could have turned that into a couple of things. So we had some opportunity there. Couldn't uh, couldn't bake it out. Couldn't finish it up. Uh, but an interesting little fight. I think we made some good moves to try to put ourselves in a position there. And unfortunately, 30 minutes into the raid, we ran into a uh, we ran into another player, uh, which is uh, hey, that's woods for you, I guess. So um, to reserve, we go. We'll see you in the raid. 
So we almost had a really, really awesome start. <laughs> we got some action. We got some stuff. I'm pretty happy with it, honestly. That was fun. It's all about having... Where the heck? Where the... Oh. Oh, well, we're not gonna... have a little bit of a hard time finding a weapon down. But... definitely could find some stuff some valuable things I generally think we can avoid the raider push for a while scav Piece of candy. There we go. All right. Well. Can't really complain too much about that. You know. It's a nice little grab. Gross. Solid. Dollars. Solid. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not, uh... Close that. Okay. Crazy happen. We are getting to the point where we may actually get shot. Sometimes some valuable shit down here. Let's see if we can find like a super stellar key. A D battery. The player kills us. He's gonna be really thrilled. What did he picked up? I'm gonna leave this door open to be a dick. People think that somebody's down here camping this. <laughs> Open all this up. <laughs> okay. down. There used to be so much good stuff down in here. I don't come down here. I don't play reserve very often. But, uh, I don't think that's what it's cracked up to be. But I should look to see if this powered. It is not. Okay, here's where, here's about where we can start getting killed, so. <laughs> oh my gosh. God, I love it. 
Oh, I love it. And when these guys freaked out. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> oh, man, that's the fun of this. There is something about this series and about this challenge. It's obviously stressful. Um, but when you're in a position like that with just literally just a knife, like those guys got nothing for killing me. Good on them. You know, I would have done the same thing. I find it, I always find it very funny. Um, <laughs> just like, that doesn't matter. Like that, that doesn't matter. Like we didn't lose anything. Uh, we found some stuff. Honestly, we found an intel. That's super... I mean, if I was just doing a, a run uh, just to make some money, I mean, you could definitely make some money off the things we pulled in for nothing. It didn't, that raid didn't cost us anything except for the heal at the end. Um, so I've, I've always found that really interesting. <laughs> uh, we'll try again. We'll see if we can get a different spawn here and uh, get something close. We'll see you in the raid for round, round number three. See you in the raid. Let's see if we can get into any more epicness here on our final raid of this uh, this challenge. We got the same spawn. I guess let's go find, figure out if we can find another intel. We've had a lot of, uh, <clears throat> I've had a lot of same spawns recently in our other series as well. Very interesting to me. It's all luck. I don't think it has anything. Oh, that's a solid item. Not necessarily for us to sell. I honestly would not have found that without my perception. Bot. That was very well hidden. Oh! Not many bullets. It's some. Awesome. Honestly, should think about checking the island cabinets. The iris really good. Going to actually. Find some okay stuff in these. Heroes, diaries. Euros are solid for this challenge. There are dollars. Both are actually quite good. All that I don't know what sells better. Some things.
behind the stairs. What's actually really interesting is that about to get exit camp. We about to camp the exit in reverse. Somebody sprint here already. They did. Somebody's been through here already. Problem ends up being. I I don't know. How... Don't know how close this guy is. I think these are scabs. Actually. They are. What? I shot him in the head. What? God dang it. I shot that dude in the head. Oh, no. I thought it was standing up. You're kidding me. We did not trade. Come on. Uh, no, there's no way that kills me in one shot, dude. Oh, my. God dang it. Oh man, that sucks.
That sucks. I was positive we shot that dude in the head. And I was right. <laughs> I, there was definitely more. Um, probably pretty close. We might have been able to, like, grab the loot. You know, grab a gun, grab the rig real quick. And then, you know, we could kind of work from there. But, um, dang. Dang, dang, dang. All right, well, we got some selling to do here really quick. This was our final haul. Um, some fun raids. That's, that's remember, at the other day, that's what this is about. It's definitely about a challenge, but it's also about having some fun and getting in some fun raids. So um, I'm going to sell a couple of things. Um, I might hang on to the intelligence just because, uh, but we'll do a quick tally and be right back. All right, so we're qu we're back. A quick tally uh, that went pretty fast. We sold everything. Uh, therapist first, uh, then we went to mechanic, and then after that we went to peacekeeper to get rid of the diary and the flash drive. I am gonna hang on to the intelligence just because I can use it, but it is worth two hundred and seventy four dollars uh, to uh, Mister Peacekeeper. So for a total, we got eight hundred and twenty four dollars. We got seventy four euros, and then one hundred ninety six thousand eight hundred sixty five rubles. So we do a quick conversion, 125 per dollar, 148 uh, per euro. I got a grand total, this three raids, of 310,817, which is actually very, very surprising. Um, the diary was really big. The flash drive was really big. The in Intel folder was really big. That was about a third of our money uh, that we picked up. But even just getting the attachments and some of the other barter items that we got, um, to make 196k is actually quite good for literally just filling up our container. Um, we threw some euros on top of it, so that definitely helped out as another about 11k, and uh, that's a that's a pretty good run for not surviving any of them. So uh, 310, 800, 310,817 total rubles uh, for this sniper bolt action sniper round. Um, so I look forward to, I'm going to do another sniper round after this. I'm actually really looking forward to that. I think that should be a lot of fun. I think I'm going to run the SVD. I'm not 100% decided yet, but I think I'm going to run SVD or actually maybe, maybe, maybe the SKS. I think it falls. That's really more a DMR category. We will see. We will see. Uh, but hopefully you enjoyed this one. We had a really fun woods raid. Unfortunately, got killed there by a player. Uh, and then we got, uh, we got just pooped on in reserve. <laughs> And I got a little bit of a jump scare because I never even saw uh, or heard those guys. And then uh, unfortunate, but we don't get, we get traded on <laughs> with the scab on the last one. I think we could have maybe turned that one into something, but uh, it was a good time. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Thank you for stopping in again. If you're new, like, comment, subscribe. If you end up really enjoying it, we do have some subscriber goals. So we would appreciate all of the support uh, on the channel and check out the rest of the content. We got, got a hardcore series. Uh, we do this, we do Lab Rat, we do a couple of other things, some stream highlights. So we got a lot of fun stuff EFT-wise uh, for you to check out if that interests you. And again, Twitter, Twitch, and Discord, links in the description if you ever want to catch us live, 8.30 Eastern Standard Time, Fridays and Saturdays, and then just randomly throughout the week where we can find some time. So I'm a doc, have a good guys. As always, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Peace.